So you get a little extra money and you've seen it on other boats and so you've been wondering if maybe Sea Deck Marine products are the right thing for you to add to your boat. So after a few minutes I received an email and the email had an attachment and it was a boat that was the same make and model but probably not the same year and it was of an inboard outboard where mine is a, an outboard. So it wasn't an exact fit. Um, they didn't have one on file that was for my year and for an outboard. Um, so if you are lucky enough that they have the exact same boat as yours, you can get this done a lot quicker. This is not something for somebody that just wants to go to a store, pick it up today and put it in tomorrow. This was a long process, um, probably in the tune of two months from start from the time of the initial phone call to the time that I actually received the product. So to give you an example of what it looks like, you know, you can tape it down to the boat and you can kind of look to see if it fits or not. Now, as you can see, the handle that I have here, the original blue lines was covering that handle. So what I had to do is I just took a, a black Sharpie and just pretty much trace around the area to make it fit. So after I sent in the dry fits with the corrections made to be custom to my boat, they took about a week or so and they made a new diagram that was of my actual boat. But when I looked at the diagram, I had noticed that there were multiple pieces on there that were still there from the old one and then some that weren't in the order that I put. Um, and when I was measuring out part of the things uh, like the battery compartment or bait well compartment, one of the good things about Sea Deck is when they take your drawings, if you don't make it a straight line or the corners are a little off, their computer kind of fixes it. But if you have something that's not an exact shape, like so for example, say it was like a 11 and a quarter by nine, but on the other end, it, it was more like a trapezoid versus a rectangle. I think the computer actually corrected that a little bit. So um, I actually did another set of dry fits, um, which was again, another $31. And I'm glad that I did because there were um, things missing that I had asked for. Like I asked for like, like two quantity of one particular thing and only one came in. And there were a couple things that they just weren't quite right. So what I did is I had made some more modifications and did some more stuff with the, the Mylar. And I was very clear when I submitted the drawings back of exactly what I needed. And I color coded that if something was green, green marker, it was good to go. If it was yellow, then it needed some modifications. And if it was red, I didn't need it. It wasn't part of a, you know, my package in the first place that they somehow erroneously were <laughs> throwing in extra parts. The other thing that they gave were samples. So samples of the products, you can kind of get it in your hand and feel it. And you can see the difference between like the, the teak lines and the teak lines can be four inches, two inches. But they also gave me a packet of all the colors that it can come in so you can match them up to your boat as well. So when the pieces did finally come in, they were all together and they were rolled up. So what you have to do is when they come in, you do have to take them out of the box and you have to put them on a flat surface. So before you can start putting down the Sea Deck foam pads, you have to use acetone on all the surfaces you're gonna do. And then after you use uh, acetone, then you have to use some isopropyl alcohol to take off any residue. And then we're gonna follow up with the isopropyl alcohol. Use a different rag for the alcohol. It's then probably a good idea to take your mats and kind of just place them as a dry fit and make sure everything lines up and looks good. So at least on this first surface, 
it slips around a lot more than I would have thought it would. It doesn't really grab from the bottom. So I did use uh, five pieces of tape to hold down one side completely. Um, and hopefully it doesn't shift too much as I go to peel off the back sticker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the razor knife, I'm going to peel up this side right here, kind of flip it over just a little bit, cut underneath, just cutting through the film, and then I'm going to peel away the sticker underneath a little bit. So we got the bow done, and the bigger pieces are easier in some ways, but tougher in another. I dry fit this piece in place. I see how much room I want down the bottom from the hinge, from the sides. And when I feel like I got it about where I want it, I just overlook the whole thing, make sure all my margins are all fairly equal which they appear to be so then what i'll do is i'm going to cut the back right here across peel up both sides about two inches and then i'll dry fit this again and when i get this how i want it i'll press down right there and then work my way across and then peel up one side and lay it down and peel up the other and i've been finding i get a lot more results and a lot more control and a lot less movement because i can use my body weight by kneeling on one side as I'm pulling it up so it doesn't shift or move. And just like that, we are done. So here's the finished product. That's the stern. It used to be very slippery out there. A lot of people, when we go tubing, would step out on that platform and end up slipping and falling into the water. Um, one thing I would do, maybe slightly different, is this step right here, it's kind of turned in. So I don't think I would have got the teak design because if you look at the teak designs on a lot of the stuff, I try to get them to line up a little bit. But in the back there, it didn't line up. So if I didn't have the teak, I could have just gone with something like this. And uh, this one right here, I think they messed up on that because I told them the teak design was going the opposite way, but that's not a big deal. But overall, pretty happy. Um, took me about three and a half hours. Now, do I recommend C-Deck? Surprisingly, I am going to say no. Reason being is number one, they don't have very good customer service. They're not very customer friendly. I'm assuming that they deal directly with distributors or dealers and not with the public very often. So I don't know if by going with an installer that they have on their list, if their installer gets some type of price break because uh, they give them multiple business. I don't regret doing this in the least bit because this is something for safety as far as not skid and it's also, you know, feels better under my feet. Please subscribe, like, and uh, I can do more of them.